Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. So the first little category I'm going to show you is my stuff I got from op shops. Now I have an obsession with op shops. When I was still in school I used to go to op shops all the time and try and suss out a good deal but I haven't been in so long so I'm so happy that I found some really great bits and I can't wait to show you right now. So the first thing that I got is this awesome awesome cardigan and it looks like an ugly Christmas sweater and I think that's what drew me to buying it but I mean it was like four dollars so how could you not? It's so cute it's just like a button up cardigan thing with this awesome design on it and I absolutely love it. This is also another cardigan. It's really really long though so it comes kind of like mid thigh and then the sleeves are also super super long. They come way past my wrist so it's absolutely perfect for those cold winter days when you just want to cozy up and not do anything. Uh, it's in like this navy blue colour and it's got front pockets on the front to hold stuff. Uh, and yeah, this is also another really, really, really cozy one that I absolutely adore. The next thing I got from an op shop is actually this reusable produce bag. Now, I am semi on the bandwagon of reusableness and zero plastic and stuff. We don't use plastic bags, but you know, I'm not 100% committed. But this I saw in an op shop and I was like, I need to get this. So I took this to the markets the other day and it's absolutely perfect. It's so nice and big. And it's got two different sized handles, so one you could literally like fit over your neck, but you could like wear it like that, and then the other you can just like hold it in your hand, it's absolutely perfect. And it's hot pink, like how could I resist? The next thing that I got is actually this coffee plunger, so we have a little one, um, but we really need a bigger one because the little one doesn't even fill up one cup, so... I got this big one, um, it was like $10 I think, so real bargain. The next thing that I got is from the body shop and it is this Japanese matcha tea pollution clearing mask um, from the body shop uh, and it's absolutely amazing. It looks like this, such a cute little packaging and yeah it's got like little bits of something in it that kind of like exfoliates at the same time so it's really really nice and it smells really nice too and I really really love it. I think this was like $40 so it's a bit pricey but it's definitely worth it. I actually forgot to put these in when I was filming this whole video but I actually got three records from an op shop as well so I got this one which is Pat Boone's Greatest Hits. Not many people will know who um, Pat Boone is but because I do rock and roll and stuff um, he's a really quite well-known singer in the rock and roll world um so yeah I got this one the next one I got was Bing Crosby's White Christmas and I'm sure that everybody knows who Bing Crosby is and this record is just like me in a record um I am obsessed with Christmas and I'm obsessed with like old classic music from like the 50s and 60s and stuff so this is a record if I was one. And the last one is probably one of my most prized possessions I own ever. Um, and this looks weird, like it's it's a town and country record, um, but there's one particular song on it that I absolutely love and it's been in my family for a long time. So it's called The Auctioneer by Leroy Van Dyke and it was my granddad's favourite song. He sung it everywhere, he sung it at my parents' wedding and since he's passed away it's just been like a family thing that we keep going so I saw this and I was like oh town and country I'm not really a country gal um but I'll have a look to see what songs on it and I saw it and I just immediately immediately knew that I had to get it so that was the third record that I got the next thing that I got is from the body shop and it is this Japanese matcha tea pollution clearing mask um from the body shop uh, and it's absolutely amazing. It looks like this. Such a cute little packaging and yeah it's got like little bits of something in it that kind of like exfoliates at the same time so it's really really nice and it smells really nice too and I really really love it. I think this was like $40 so it's a bit pricey but it's definitely worth it. The next three things I got are all from Cotton On and they're just three t-shirts that were three for $30. A lot of threes in that sentence. So the first one is this Friends 
long sleeve semi crop top if you know me you'll know that I love Friends it's my favorite TV show and yeah I just could not leave this one in the store the next one is this soft pink um, Bowie shirt as in David Bowie um, I just thought that it was really cool and I love David Bowie so yeah I just thought that it was rad and this last one is just a white Rolling Stones t-shirt I don't really listen to the Rolling Stones um, so I don't really know why I got it I just thought that it looked cool and it looks really cool under denim jackets and stuff so yeah I got those three and the next thing I got are a new pair of winter boots now I had my winter boots for over a year and they were just from number one shoes so they did not last me very long so I invested and I got a pair of Winter Smith boots and they cost me $170 um, but they will last me till the end of time I'm telling you now they like these things do not wear out I've had these for maybe like two three months now and I've worn them to death and they pretty much look brand new so yeah I got these and I absolutely love them and the last things for this haul are actually something that me and my sister made. So we made beeswax wraps. If you don't know what beeswax wraps are, they are an alternative to like glad wrap. So I made this humongous one um, that I actually put James's birthday cake in. And then I've made a whole roll of other ones in different fabrics and different sizes, whatever, whatever. Um, they are so so simple to make like I made this cute as little square one with bees on it obviously you have to have one with bees on it because beeswax um, but then I've got like this paisley one and then like these other like retro type fabric ones and yeah they were just so 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 easy to make so if you want me to make a video on how I actually made them I would be more than happy to do that because I mean you can never have too many and they're so simple to make you would not even believe so yeah I think I made like 11 or 12 in total and they took me like a couple of hours to finish them all so that brings me to the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment below if you want to see more videos from me um turn on that notification <laughs> turn on that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video and I'll see you guys next week I hope you have a great time I usually say it the other way around. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, there's a tissue in the pocket of that one. The next thing, oh, there's snot dripping down my nose. So I am so snuffly. Oh, but I